guys. What's going on? Uh, back once again with another vlog. Uh, I thought I'd do it outside because it's not often you get weather like this in Old Blighty. Uh, if you don't know, I'm, I'm in London, so just enjoying the weather outside in the back garden. Um, but now to the subject of this video, you've obviously seen the thumbnail, seen the title, so I just want to give you guys an update on my whereabouts for the next couple of months. Um, so I'll be at Heroes and Villains Fan Fest at the end of this month, the last weekend of May, at the London Olympia. Uh, so if you're around in the London area and you're a fan of my work, and obviously that means you'll be a fan of all kinds of TV and film, pop culture, um, you want my, my, my blah, get my words out. You might want to get yourself down there. Uh, make sure you say hello. Um, check out my work. Check out all the other great artists that are going to be there. And uh, yeah, just enjoy that weekend. And hopefully the weird weather there then is as good as it is today. Um, then looking ahead, I'm going to be at London Film and Comic Con which is, funnily enough, at the exact same place. We've got the London Olympia. Um, I'll put the information at the, in the description box of, of this video so you can check out the, their website, so you can buy tickets and that sort of thing. <clears throat> so yeah, London Film and Comic Con at the, on the last weekend of July. I think that's a three-day Comic Con, so it'll be on the Friday, Saturday and the Sunday. Um, again, um, at the exact same place so easy enough for me to get there and again if you're around enjoying the London summer weather uh, make sure you, you come down um, on Heroes and Villains Fest I think uh, if you guys follow what they do um, you'll be aware that I think Stephen Amell from Arrow fame will be there um, and if you've been a subscriber to my channel for any any amount of time you'll know I've done some uh, arrow artwork and some flash artwork actually as well so which I'll have uh, a few prints of so, so yeah again you might be something that might be something you're, you're interested in um, on London Film at Comic Con hopefully I'll be doing some Dark Knight artwork so I'll do some alternative movie posters uh, for the Joker and for the whole film um, because around that time in July, that would be the 10th anniversary of the Dark Knight release, uh, obviously a seminal film in comic book film history. Um, so do look out for that. Hopefully I'll have the videos out before the event itself, so you get an idea of um, what I'll be, um, uh, what kind of inventory and, and art I'll have around that time. And another one that I'm looking at is possibly Reading Comic Con, but that's further down the line. That's uh, in the autumn, end of October in Reading, which is in Berkshire. Uh, so any of you guys in the UK, um, do keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm still talking to the organiser about that, about getting a slot, getting a table. But that's not set in stone just yet, um, but uh, um, watch this space. Um, but now for the main piece of this video, which is the, <clears throat> the project that I'm working on now, um, which I'm pleased to announce that I was invited by Rittenhouse Archives, um, who are a major player in the pop culture, non-sports and sci-fi um, collectibles arena. So they do all kinds of official merchandise for your favorite TV um, shows and films such as Star Trek, The Walking Dead, uh, so on and so forth. Um, so they've approached me to do some uh, one-of-a-kind sketch cards, which essentially are like mini portraits for the uh, 1960s TV show Lost in Space. Um, so that's actually having its 50th anniversary this year. Uh, and funny enough, that's in tandem with the new Lost in Space TV show uh, that's coming out on Netflix this summer. Uh, so with that in mind, they, they are commissioning a number of artists uh, and reaching out to them 
uh, for doing all kinds of bespoke one of a kind drawings and portraits. Uh, I'm pleased to say I am one of them, so I'm very chuffed about that um, to work with a big player such as Rittenhouse, who I think are based out of uh, Pennsylvania in the United States. Um, so yeah, very pleased. Um, fortunately, I can't show you any work that I've done on it, uh, but suffice to say, I've I've worked through around three cores of the, the submissions that I've got to hand in. So in a good place right now. Um, the good news is I've been filming all of the artwork. Um, so there'll be a ton of content coming your way um, in the summer, uh, kind of in the same vein as sort of Lex Luthor portrait I did just the other week. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description just below. So do check that out. Um, and that's really all from me, really. Um, I will switch to uh, voiceover mode and just so you can get, get an idea on the scale that I'm working on. Here we go guys, here is the stack of sketch cards I'll be working on. So as you can see, they have provided me with quite a bit. I'm going to have to work on all of these, just as many as I produce to qualify for getting artist return cards. So here, let's see the detail on the back. See, it's officially licensed merchandise for Lost in Space via Written House Archive. I think you can make it out there. There you go. I might be able to get out of focus. Here we go. Here's the. Uh, the front side that I will be drawing on. Now I actually have started working on these um, and I'm really keen to show you guys what I've been what I've managed to produce so I'm very pleased with the standard of them and how they've come out. So that's kind of how they appear. And they are marked with the Rittenhouse Archives logo and then they've got the, the official Lost in Space logo there. You're wondering what these crosshair marks are. That does just that will help the marketing team at Written House to trim them down to size. So these are actually oversized at the moment. So they are, I think they are at the moment they are four by five inches, and they'll be trimmed down around here, down to two and a half and three and a half, which is your standard uh, trading card or sketch card size. So these will be one of a kind. Only 16 to 18 produced by myself. And if you're a big fan of Lost in Space and Netflix, um, then you might be interested in trying to pick up one of these. I think they're only available in the States, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out. So, But you, if you are in the States and if you are a big fan of pop culture and this particular TV show, then you might be interested. So yes, yeah, so that's the that's everything for this vlog. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're going to be around. Uh, make sure you say hi. It'd be good to put the the face to the name. Um, and whether or not you enjoy these vlogs, or it's just the time lapse that you like. What else would you like to see from me? Um, am I helping you with your own artistic journey? Um, and lastly, just stick around. You know, we're in this together. Follow me on my journey as I try to go from as a part time. Uh, independent illustrator to a full-time professional illustrator slash portrait artist. Uh, I think working with Rittenhouse is a great first step and uh, look, for what, uh, look forward to what the, the rest of this year entails. Right, see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell because as I say lots of videos coming your way. Talk to you guys soon.